Welcome to this Q&A session about COVID-19 pandemic impact on real estate market and mortgage financing. Hi, this is Roxana Koshandish, Operations Manager at Brian Kattenbach Real Estate Team. And here with me today are Greg Kwanjian, Director and Mortgage Broker at Team Choice with Mortgage Outlet and Brian Kattenbach, Realtor and Team Lead with Remax Realty Specialist Brokerage. Everyone. Welcome to you, gentlemen. Thanks for being here today. Yeah. Thanks for having us. So we decided to record these Q&A sessions to answer some of the common questions we get from our clients and other people regarding the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on real estate and mortgage financing. The next question is, uh, I sold my home and bought a new one, both properties closing on the same day. The bank of the buyer who bought my home and now due to new measures due to COVID-19, needs more time to approve his mortgage and the closing is therefore delayed. How can I pay for my new home? I think Greg, you can. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think one of the the options, again, if, uh, let us know in advance, as early as possible, let us know, because we can do what's, uh, what's called a bridge loan. Uh, get you basic a bridge loan is basically the uh, the bank the bank you're getting your mortgage with they know you're, you're selling your property so if there's a delay in closing or you're closing after the sale they will um, give you the down payment you needed from the sale of your home to put it for the the new purchase towards the new purchase and that way you can still close uh, the new purchase um, so that's the best way to do deal, uh, to deal with this now if the sale completely fell through that's uh, that's another c uh, scenario Again, we got to get the lawyers and the realtor involved. Maybe again, we can push the, the purchase date to allow more time to the sale and so on. But if not, if it's just a delay uh, and a matter we need more time, bridge loan will be the best option. Yeah. And what does it cost for the bridge loan? Uh, the, the bridge loan is typically, uh, there's a, about a fixed cost of a admin fee. I would say somewhere in the four to $500 range. It changes by lender. Also the rate, it varies a little bit from one bank to the other, but approximately prime plus four in that range. So we're talking a rate of maybe uh, 645 to 7%. Now it does sound as high as, as a rate, but keep in mind, people keep a bridge loan for a, a short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes as, as little as few days to maybe a month, maybe a maximum of two. Uh, so it's not for the rest for the rest of the term for the rest of the year. So it's a very short term and often when there's a bridge loan happens because of a delay from the, the other party, uh, the buyer can always claim that extra thousand dollar or so from the as a, to cover the for the inconvenience or for that cost from the from their buyer that postponed the closing date. Yes. Right. And Brian, do you have anything to add to, to that about bridge loans? Bridge loan is my favorite type of closing for people who are selling and buying. I always recommend my clients to get it for a couple of days, few days. So at least you have that buffer. You're, there's less stress if you have to load the truck in the morning and then unload it in the evening. And it gives a little bit of flexibility and an option. So in case the other party couldn't close, you have that buffer, it's just a peace of mind. It's an insurance that I always recommend my clients to take. But some do, some don't, but it's very, very recommended. And it's not that costly for a few days at least. Yeah, right, absolutely, I agree with that. Like some people, again, sometimes families moving, again, they don't want to move out and move in on the same day, just uh, too, too much of a work. And some people like to, before they move in, at least clean the house and get it painted and so on. So they need that extra few days. Yeah, bridge loan is a great option, as you said. Plus, it's, it works as an insurance if uh, any de delay or last minute something comes up. So yeah, it's, it's a great option to have. Yeah. Great, thanks for that. To watch other sessions of my interview with Greg and Brian, please go to Brian Katambach's YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.